am Miss Melanie, subject leader of English here at Boston Grammar School. Um, in English Language and English Literature A Level, we follow the AQA exam board. Um, for English Language, we look at all kinds of different texts. Um, we have two papers. Paper one is all about meanings and representations. And paper two, we look at language diversity and language change. Um, as part of paper one as well, we have a child language acquisition element, which students find extremely interesting. Um, we also have two components of coursework. Again, students absolutely love these elements. It gives them a chance to be creative. Um, they can really zoom in on areas of interest as well. Um, obviously, we support and guide them with that. Um, the original writing piece, um, students can write in any form uh, using a style model um, as a stimulus um, and then the investigation again really interesting investigating areas of language that students might be interested in. For English literature we have uh, two papers again um, we look at all kinds of critical perspectives so we look at eco-critical, psychoanalytic criticism, feminist criticism um, but again it's looking at text through various lenses and really trying to think about different ways of reading and interpreting a variety of texts. For that we do, we look at Twelfth Night, we look at poetry by William Blake, we look at The Kite Runner um, uh, as well as the um, critical anthologies. Um, so again, a wide variety of texts and things that we look at there, and there are coursework elements there as well, where you get to study poetry and prose. And again, it really gives students that freedom to really, you know, look at what they're passionate about in English, which is fantastic. Um, we have lots of extracurricular opportunities as well. Um, we have uh, an involvement with the British Council where we have been participating in a zero waste project. Um, students produced an investigation into um, uh, ingredients in food, ingredients in um, toiletry products. They had some really interesting findings because again language can be a bit of a barrier there in terms of you know, we, often we don't really know sometimes what we're consuming, what we might be putting on our skin and that. So are we wasting our time and money using certain products? So that was really interesting. Um, students also did a piece of creative writing or original writing um, about wasting sort of things. Again, as I've said, like time, for example, one student did a, a wonderful piece on that. Um, and then finally we did a zero waste activity log where students actually kept track of everything that they had done to try and reduce waste. So even things as simple as just turning off the light switch when leaving a room. And again, it was fascinating when you put all that together, how much, um, save, how much we could save time, um, save money, just by being careful and observant about what we're doing. So that was one um, opportunity that students had. Um, we've also just been given the opportunity, an exclusive opportunity, to do some ghost reading. So um, we have a really prominent author um, from Germany who has published a highly successful novel there and in other countries who is thinking about publishing in Great Britain and wants to know if it's worth doing. So our students are going to read the novel and get, give feedback. But again, it's an opportunity for our students to ask questions and find out all about the publishing process and the writing process. So um, again, a really fantastic thing there. So lots of opportunities, lots of fun, lots of creativity. That's what we're all about, looking at the big ideas in English, technology, psychology, you name it, we look at it. So really, really fascinating stuff. Um, our entry requirements are grade sixes in language and literature um, and we would really love to hear from you and hope to see you in our course in September. Thank you. English is a multifaceted subject that allows you to express creative opinions without restrictions or right or wrong answers. Having such ability within a lesson is beneficial as it provides me with a sense of freedom and relaxation which is everything a student would want within an A-level. From investigating gender to ethnicity and its effects on language, English language covers a wide range of topics making it enjoyable for everybody. Studying English at A level has made me realise that the skills and opportunities the subject offers are never ending, hence why choosing to study English language and linguistics at university.